Hello, welcome in this new video tutorial for Maya and today I will explain how to make a real-time render in the Maya viewport Ok, let's start I've made uh, this file um, so in this file there is just a plane and uh, the happy Buddha um, for download the Happy Buddha, just go on my website, Maya Objects, go Free Objects, there we go, Happy Buddha, just in download and it work. Okay. Um, for first thing, I want to explain how to make real-time reflection in the Maya viewport. Okay, just open the hypershade, made a new blend, color black, and link on the reflected color and M texture, M ball. Um, to the image and link a file now we need an HDR um, for have an HDR this HDR just go on Google searching for HDRI image uh, large size and there we go this is pretty big. You can do this one from ignorancia.org. Okay, open. I sync the shader to the mesh. And go to render viewport 2.0. So that what you can see uh, is the real-time reflection on the mesh. Uh, I want to increase a little bit the reflection. Um, specular color to white and reflectivity to one. There we go. Look what is beautiful. The real time reflection in the viewport. Okay, for me, the background just um, create polygon primitive sphere. to smooth this sphere from smooth mesh preview and uh, I see new material Lambert now link to the color the texture we have to use it for the reflection like this there we go Uh, for the plane, I want to. The plane is uh, the initial shading group, it's just a lumbered one. There we go. Um, I want to use white color. Okay, now go on render view, viewport 2.0 with option. There we go, these are the options. Activate uh, the anti aliasing. The anti aliasing uh, hide, you know, um, this small uh, artifact around the mesh. To four, to eight, to eight is better, but. For this tutorial, I will use the, the four. 
uh, activate uh, that's beautiful uh, the screen space ambient occlusion to free maybe so what that you can see um, are the shadow you know all around you know the um, on the ground just a little bit but um, for um, hide the, the this shadow effect uh, on the background just select and go on normals menu and reverse the normals there we go okay I want to use the maximum size of ambient occlusion radius 16 I want to show you how to fix this little artifact on the shadow okay now looks pretty good so nice Okay, I want to make, um, this is the chrome shader, I want to call this plane chrome. Now I want to make um, graph network, just air it from hypershade, duplicate shading network and I got another shading network. Um, I want to duplicate this mesh to air it duplicate there we go I want to see another shader um, I want to make another shader mm, to brush it metal okay go on reflected color follow the image so this is the image um, I have downloaded from uh, Google and I have made another image um, with um, with blur I've made the blur in Photoshop so just edit HDR and open I see the shader to the mesh there we go so that you can see difference from this one to this one is uh, just the difference is inside the reflection so these are glossy and these are blue red reflection so and we have made another shader now I want to make another shader one more Add it, duplicate, okay, um, the next shader um, I want to make is the copper, we can use the, the brushed metal shading network, just add it, Duplicate shading network. Uh, we call this shader copper, gold. Okay, for make the gold, just go 
I want to assign the shader first. There we go. Go on the reflect, follow the reflected color image and go on color balance and change this white to yellow. Uh, more red. This looks pretty good. Maybe more yellow, more darker. Okay, uh, now we'll go um, select the copper shader and change this color to the specular color. Make the same yellow, or no, maybe more lighten. There we go. Okay, the copper is done too. I want to make another shader. Carry, duplicate. I want to show you how to make the plastic. Okay, same same thing. Select the. the mm, for the plastic, I want to use. I don't know, the glossy reflection, array, duplicate, sharing network, we call this uh, red plastic, okay, change the color to red, I see the shader to the mesh. Now we need mm, less reflectivity than the copper or chrome. Maybe 0.5. Pretty good. Specular color mm, gray. More. There we go. Now I want to show how it's simple uh, to make animation and uh, real-time animation for save time and money. Just panels. Okay. Uh, for do that, I need the time slider and the range slider. Time slider, range slider, there we go. Mm, for this animation, um, I think 300 frames is pretty good. Uh, okay, perspective, create a new camera for this animation. Download this camera on top okay okay now on this perspective uh, we need to go um, <coughs> uh, 
uh, to go in uh, default quality render for see the cameras there we go just select the camera go in viewport 2.0 balance perspective select go on the new camera and make a Okay, just um, made it the starting position. Press S, the S K on the keyboard. You can see a red frame um, on the time slider. Move uh, maybe 60 frame and change the position of the camera like this. Press S again. There we go. Now go to 300, last frame, and move the camera. Here, press S. Okay, our animation is done. Just hit play, and you can see the animation. Real time render with reflection. Okay, now I want to show you um, how to activate. The viewport 2.0 with option activate the real time motion blur enable I want to just try nice maybe one is too much mm, I want to try point 0.4 Point four. Okay. Now for me the animation just do a play blast. Uh, ornaments. Quality hundred. Apple intermediate codec. It's okay. Scale one. Just to from Windows, the display sites for Windows play blast. And this is the movie. Open it with a quick time player. There we go. We do the animation. Okay, the first part of the tutorial is done. Thanks for watching. Have a fun.